In this video, I'm going to find sine 2 theta and cos 2 theta, where sine theta is given as negative root 5 over 3, and theta is restricted to the interval pi to 3 pi over 2. And to do this, I'm going to use the double angle formulas, which tell us that sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta and cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1. To use these two formulas though, I need to have both sine theta and cos theta. Now I was given sine theta, but I need to find cos theta. Now I know that cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to 1. So that means that cos squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta, which is 1 minus minus the square root of 5 over 3 squared, which is equal to 1 minus 5 ninths, which is 4 ninths. So that tells me that cos squared theta is 4 ninths, so cos theta must be plus or minus the square root of 4 over 9, which is plus or minus 2 thirds. But remember that in this problem we were given that theta sits between pi and 3 pi over 2. On our unit circle, that means that theta is in this quadrant. And in that quadrant, the x value is negative, and so is the y value. And cosine is the x value on the unit circle, so I know that cosine is less than zero in that quadrant. So that tells me that cosine theta must be negative 2 over 3. And recall that we also know that sine theta is equal to minus square root 5 over 3. So now we can solve our problem. So sine 2 theta is 2 sine theta cos theta, which is 2 times minus square root 5 over 3 times minus 2 over 3, which is equal to 4 square root 5 over 9. And cos 2 theta is 2 cos squared theta minus 1, which is 2 times minus 2 thirds squared minus 1, which is equal to 2 times 4 ninths, which is 8 ninths minus 1, which is equal to minus 1 ninth.